Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie Anshi. A lot of time my stakeholders want me to create dashboards in just a few days or even sometimes in a few hours. But it is very difficult to create a business ready dashboard in such a small amount of time. So in these scenarios I always look back to Tableau Public. Tableau Public is one of my go-to places where I just love to see some inspirations. But that's not all that Tableau Public offers. Tableau Public also offers you to download Tableau workbooks. Some of these workbooks can be easily reused and can be repurposed with your dataset to be able to show a great dashboard. This video on my channel is one of such kind where we are going to reuse a dashboard from Tableau Public and cater it to a new dataset altogether. Before we get started into how to do this on the Tableau dashboard, I just want to talk about a few points why we should be doing this on a regular basis. One is that it saves a lot of time to design a dashboard. Building the sheets and the charts on the dashboard is easier, but building a layout and a design around it takes a really lot of time. Reusing a dashboard that's already built always makes sure that you are saving a lot of time to design this dashboard. It also helps you to reuse an inspiration that you've always looked up to and wanted to implement someday. It also helps you to look at identical data sets and build a dashboard within tight deadlines. A rapid deployment of a dashboard can be enabled if you are trying to reuse a dashboard. So let's get into how you can do this. I just want to talk about the steps on how you can reuse a dashboard. So the very first step over here would be to find an inspiration. As I said, we will be finding our inspiration on the Tableau public website. So let's go ahead and go to the Tableau public website first. When you head to the Tableau public website, you'll find a plethora of dashboards. All of these dashboards are built by some of the great visualization experts. Each and every dashboard looks interesting and is full of insights. But for this video, I want to look at business dashboards. So I'll go into the business dashboard section and this one, which is developed by Kevin Kumarji is something I'm really liking and I feel that it would suit my data set pretty well. So let's see how this dashboard is. So when I open this online retail dashboard, I see it's a greatly built dashboard and it shows you all the different KPIs on the top and a few details on the bottom. It also has a nice toggle on the top, which helps you switch between the quantity and the sales. And it gives you a different layout and a view completely when you switch. I really like this one and I want to reuse. So the step two here is to download this dashboard from the Tableau public website. For that, you can just go ahead and click on this button on the top right and download the Tableau workbook using the current Tableau version. Once you do that, you can open up this dashboard. So let's go ahead and open this dashboard in the Tableau. Now I have my Tableau desktop and the dashboard is open over here. Now for me to be able to work with this dashboard, I also need to import my own data set. But let's just first look out on how he has built this dashboard. So he basically has two tabs, one for sales and one for quantity. And he's just going to toggle the two tabs using the toggle button on the top. So that's what we will also do. But let's first connect to our data source, which is our step number three over here. So go ahead into the data pane and we will need to do a importing of a new data set. So I'm just going to say new data set. And for this, I'm going to use the sample superstore data. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the sample superstore data over here. Once I do that, my next step is to replace the current data source with the new data source that I just implemented. So we'll go ahead and click on replace data source and just select the current source and the source with which we want to replace this data with, which is the sample superstore data. Once you do that, you will start seeing a lot of error fields and of fields that are getting errored out in this particular data set. Right. We need to fix a lot of these to be able to work with this dashboard. So the next step is to review and update the field mappings. So what we will do here is anything that where we see an exclamation mark is something that we'll need to fix. So you can go ahead and right click 
and retrace reference to some of these fields. So let's go ahead with the customer ID first and instead of customer ID, I want to use order ID. So I'll just go ahead and replace the reference of customer ID with order ID. Similarly, for description, I want to replace the reference to subcategory. So I'll do that. Similarly, for invoice date, I'm going to use the order date. So just replace reference to that. The next is to fix the field calculations. A lot of these calculations which are referencing to fields are now failing as well, right? Now this is something we need to fix as well. So instead of average sales, that calculation, since I already have a sales field, I'm just going to take an average of that. And anything else, right? Like invoice number or anything else where I have a reference, I'll just go ahead and replace the reference. You can fix each and every different calculations and however you would want it to. So I can just replace the sales with sum of sales because I have sum of sales in my data set, right? So just make sure you're able to edit and update each and every field that is broken so that you can have a right reference to the correct column that you want to show, right? So as you can see now, most of my fields are fixed. These are done. I'm just left with the unit price and uh, everything else is uh, everything else is fine. So let's come back to our dashboard. Now, as you can see, most of my charts are broken. So the next step here is to adjust our visualizations. So we'll just go ahead and edit each and every sheet and see what is causing the issue. Over here in this particular sheet, let's just see what's happening here. The filter here is selecting nothing, right? So this is what is causing the issue. I will remove this filter or adjust it, right? So what you can do is instead of the invoice date, uh, which is doing a date add of the number of days with the order date, I would like to use this parameter and see what's happening here, right? So let's edit the parameter and you can see the current value is set to 418, we'll set it to zero. Now I can edit my filter here and set it to none and filter to the latest date. So with that, what would happen is it would filter to the December 2023, right? So if I fit this to an entire view and come back to my dashboard, you can see I can see December 2023 on the top. Now let's fix the average sales. Now, as you know, we fixed this calculation because of which this is broken, right? I've now having an average of sales. And so I'll bring this onto the text and this will automatically fix this particular view as well. So average sales is also fit. Again, sales, this is working fine. Now let's look at the sales by location first, right? This particular chart is completely vanished. Now what happened over here? Now, as you can see, I don't see the map on this one. It's maybe because something is broken, but I see my country, region and state over here. Then why do I not see my dashboard? Same if I expand from the second marks card, again, I see everything. But if you can see, there's a small pin and a cross next to it, which means that I need to make sure that I adjust that pin first. So let me uncheck the pin and the cross. There you go. You have the map showing now, but I don't want to just show it at country region, but I want to show it at a city level. So go ahead and adjust this to a city level. Let's go ahead and do the same to the marks card, which is on the second one. But still, this doesn't look the way I want it to look, right? So let's first just make some more changes to this. Let's go to the background layer of the map from the top menu. And you can start showing the base, the cover land, and some of these different background map layers so that the uh, map over here is more prominent compared to what it was before. So let's just make some of these changes here. And with this, I think this should look much better on the main dashboard. So yeah, there you go. It looks much better. Now to the top location section, it only shows me the country. If I click on plus, I can expand it. However, on my dashboard, I don't have enough space to show all the hierarchy. For this reason, I would just remove country, region, and even the state because I'm only interested in the city and just show that on the dashboard. However, if you see, this is not sorted properly and it's only showing the top 10 value. I would like to see all of them together. 
so let's remove the filter from the index as you saw and now i have to adjust this index so let's go ahead and edit the table calculation and in the sort order we need to use the custom right and we need to specify that the sales is what we are going to use in order to sort uh, this it has to be sorted in the descending order so the one which has the most sales is on the top and slowly uh, following it would be the others so as you can see this is adjusted and i can see the entire cities over here my top sold product this part looks good so i don't have to make any changes here this is fine now let's come to the customer details over here the customer id is broken so i have the customer id earlier but now i want to use the order id so instead of customer id i will just replace it with order id you can see this fixes the entire chart and i now have the chart as i need right you can adjust some of these columns play around with the things that you would need not need and it should be able to serve the customer details section over here in the dashboard now coming to the daily sales trend uh this is fixed already don't have to do much but let's see what's happening here right i'm showing the number of purchases and sales but i don't have anything called purchases so i'll just say number of orders instead of purchases to the field and similarly i will have to edit the legend as well so let's go ahead and change the legend and say number of orders with that this part of the dashboard is almost ready now if i go to the quantity dashboard again it has the same issues like the sales dashboard right so quickly i will be fixing this one as well uh, as you can see i'm editing this making sure that all my state level data is visible and adding the background map layer as well to the uh, to this particular map view this fixes it again to the top locations i would need to look at at city level so just keeping the city and editing the index and going to show it with a specific dimension which is sales or quantity whatever you want to have it here you can just go ahead and edit it and also make sure you are removing the index filter from here so it shows you all of it now this is fit to an entire view fit it to the width sold product is good customer details again i just have to replace this with order id everything else is fine and again on this number of orders this is fine i just have to change the legend here you could have the quantity or anything else as you would want but i'm just showing you how you can fix this so let's add my name as well so i redesigned it and the inspiration is coming from kevin kumar ji so thank you kevin for building such a great great dashboard um let's just go ahead and edit this on both of my dashboards here so this is how we can quickly do this on both the dashboards right let's fit this properly and with that we should be able to do our testing and validation which is at the last step so here we go we have our dashboard ready let's just go ahead and see if everything works seamlessly you can go into a presentation mode try to switch between the product quantity and sales and see if the views are populating as you need you can play around with the filters play around with the views and see if everything's populating well with that you will be able to reuse any simple dashboard that's built on tableau public using your own data set and within minutes you will be having your own new dashboard it hardly takes any time to reuse a dashboard but building one from scratch really takes a lot of time i hope this video is inspiring and would help you in your day to day work with that i'll be signing off for this video keep looking forward for more such interesting videos in future i'll see you on the next one until then bye bye